covered deleted files for Microsoft Teams, we also have to consider SharePoint. When a Microsoft team is created, it automatically creates a new SharePoint site. This is where all files related to the team are saved. Within Teams, you can see a general channel. Within the channel, you can see three default tabs, Posts, Files, and Wiki. Click on Files and you can see all the files that relate to the Teams channel. These are the files that are stored in SharePoint. Click on the three dots next to a file and you'll see the option to delete. This will delete the files from Teams but they will still be in SharePoint because the SharePoint site has a recycle bin. This is where your deleted files go. The maximum length of time files stay in the recycle bin is 93 days. Head to the SharePoint site where the file has been deleted. Within Teams, you can go to Files, Open in SharePoint. In the quick launch bar navigation, click Recycle Bin. Here you'll see the files that have been deleted from Teams and files deleted from anywhere else within the same SharePoint channel. Select the files you wish to recover. Click Restore. The file has now been restored to its original location and also retains all its metadata. Some reasons why a file can't be restored are you can't restore a file if its parent has been deleted. Add the parent again and try to restore the file. You can't restore versions of a file if the original file has been deleted. Make sure the original file still exists or try restoring it. You can't restore a file if its library has been deleted. Restore the library and then try to restore the file. You may not have the proper permission level to restore. Check with your administrator if you have the necessary permissions. Admins who want a clear view of all permissions in their environment can try Syskit Point. The tool allows you to explore and manage permissions across all types of sites in Microsoft 365. For more Microsoft 365 tips and tricks, subscribe to our channel and check out our Syskit blog.